When I finished high school, I didn't know what kind of work I wanted to do. But I believed that libraries were socially beneficial institutions, and I assumed that they would be congenial places to work. So I decided that I would become a librarian until I found something more interesting to do, and that's still my position. My employment in libraries has always been in university libraries, but always with uh, engagement with wider issues. I remember vividly arriving in California for my first position. It was bitterly cold driving across the northern plains in December in 1975. But then, after driving through a blizzard in the mountains, we descended into the sunshine and the warmth of the Golden State, with flowers blooming along the roadside. The Berkeley School of Librarianship already had a mandate from the campus to diversify its activities before I arrived as dean. I got a friendly reception from California librarians who had lots of ideas about what should be done. It was a lively, if strenuous, experience. Some years later, when the hundred libraries of the nine campuses of the University of California system were undergoing momentous changes, I was asked to facilitate. Highlights were the development of off-campus regional library facilities, a pioneering online union catalogue named Melville, and a productive collaboration with the California State Library. It really was a pivotal period in the development of academic library services. That was a difficult but exciting period. After that, I returned to the school without any administrative responsibilities. This gave me the opportunity to focus on things of personal interest, in particular how to make discovery of resources both easier and better, and also how library services relate to the communities they serve. And being in retirement, an emeritus professor at Berkeley is a very privileged position. I am blessed to have access to an outstanding university library and an excellent public library. Clearly, I've been very fortunate to have these experiences in California. I'm very grateful. And to be included in the distinguished company of the California Librarians Hall of Fame is a particularly pleasing honor. Thank you.